why these brothers rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's a secret, please don't believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we'll never be the future. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we got the keys for these brothers rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's a secret, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom, we'll never be the future. Evil legions, all the demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys. Kingdom. We got the keys to the keys to the... And history was beaten out of us in That's slavery. Right. That's, right. That's, That's why right. this happened. That's why my brother can't answer. But guess what now? Through the Bible, we're going to show you where your homeland is. That's right. Come on. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above and free, which is the mother of us all. Now you know your homeland. That's right. Your homeland is Jerusalem. That's right. North East Africa. That's right. Because what do most black people say? When you ask black people, uh, where are you from? They say, oh, I'm from Africa. I'm from the whole continent. No, 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 uh. Now we're getting some history That's about right. where we're really from. We're really getting. But Jerusalem, which is above and free, which is the mother of us all. So when we, when we talk about the motherland, we're talking about Jerusalem. That's right. Not the whole continent. All right, let's listen to it. Huh? Yes. Uh, no, I, I don't think he know. Look, remember in 2012, black people was going crazy because the Voting Rights Act was about to uh, uh, be done. They had to renew it under Obama. You remember that? Damn. Okay, me either. But we gotta we gotta be up on these things to see to see spiritually what they're doing to us, right? Read it. Now, here's the definition of denizen. Read. Denizen, a foreigner allowed certain rights in the adopted country. You see that? You and me have certain rights. They're called civil rights Bring it in out. their adopted country. Bring it out. We're denizens. Right. Even though we may have a paper that says you got a U.S. passport and you're a citizen, we're, that's only on paper. That's right. When the cops stop you, nigga, you a denizen. That's right. You got certain rights. That's why they talk to you a certain way. We've all seen videos of black black men getting killed unjustly uh, 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 by the cops, but you will see videos of white men being aggressive to the cops and it costs, hey, back up, man, back up, back up. You see all that all day. Bring Why? Because they know that's a citizen. You are just a nigga. You a that's right. Bring it you are a chief. And guess what? If I kill this nigga here, there's probably no repercussions for me. I'll be all right, on camera, off camera. Right. That's how we're treated here. That's right. So what we have to do, brother, is keep God's law. That's, right. that's the only solution black people have never tried. That's right. Think about it. We've tried voting. Right. How's voting been working out for us? How's how's Joe Biden working out for y'all? Freedom! How's Jim Crow Joe working out? How's he working out? Huh? Did you vote for Jim Crow Joe? You you vote for Joe Biden? How where the black that you, you voted for Joe Biden? Where the black Democrats at? Where y'all at? Where you at? We want to talk to you. Where you at? Where's the black Democrat? I know y'all some Democrats over there. What has Jim Crow, what has Joe, Joe Biden done so far for black people? Because he just gave the Afghans $600 million and they ain't even citizens. Wake him up! He gave them your taxpayer money. Teach! Instead of building up the ghetto, he gave the Afghans $600 million. Wait a minute, are they all vaccinated? No? Nobody knows? See that? Nobody? Not, where, where's the Democrat? I'm in a Democratic place. Where you at? I want to talk to you. It Read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. It says the house of Israel shall possess. If you possess something, what does that mean, brother? It says if you possess something, what does that mean? Huh? If you possess something, what does it mean? What does it mean, says? If you possess something. 
Oh, she's going too. She got a look at her phone now. Oh, God. The scary black people. Scared your own damn brother. Hey, what does it mean if you possess something? Do you possess those genes? I can't hear you. You possess those genes. What does that mean? Hey, hey, sir, sir. If you possess something, what does that mean? Not a trick question. You own it. See, see that black man? Just speak, speak plain. You own it. Stick your chest out and be a man. That's right. You understand? You can speak up. You have a voice here. That's right. You own it. Now read it again. In the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Wait a minute. It says the house of Israel shall possess them. You're gonna possess the strangers. You're gonna own the strangers. That's right. Read. For servants and handmaids. For servants and handmaids, meaning slavery. That's, right. That's, what, it That's what it means. Point to Jesus. Why you say that's to Jesus? Huh? Yeah, he's a Hebrew. Wait a minute, sir. So, so Hebrews are black? Say it again. When have you ever seen a white? Hey, he said, when have, you, when have you ever seen a white Hebrew? Get a man in hand. He's right. Hey, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. First Corinthians 3 16. I'm going to show y'all something. Because guess what? Did this happen to us? Look right here. Look right here, y'all. Why did that happen to us? Yes, hard bondage. Yeah. Now I'm asking you, why did this, these things happen to us? Huh? It was in, it was what? In prophecy. Okay, this man knows something. It was in prophecy. He's right. Let's get the prophecy real quick. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 20 and 16. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. Now this happened in prophecy. Why? What did? What happened? Wait a minute, say it again, say it loud. We disobeyed God. We, the black man, disobeyed God. That's right. I want you to listen close. All these things happen to us because we are disobeying God right now. Right. Now, watch this. I'm going to prove what I'm saying. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt means slavery. All right? Egypt means slavery. Because what were the children of Israel doing in Egypt? Hold on, hold on. I'm, 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 we're gonna get there. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's Christianity, but I want to show you what the Bible actually says. All right. So, Egypt means slavery, because that's what the children of Israel were doing. We were doing slavery, building pyramids, hard bondage. Am I right, ma'am? That's what the children of Israel were doing in slavery, right? right. In Egypt. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh huh. With ships. Wait a minute. Do you need? If you was in Jerusalem. Would you need a boat or a ship to go to Egypt, man? Bring it up. Would you need a boat or a ship to go to Egypt? No, it's right beside each other. Wait a minute. Hold this up now. Hold this up. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or slavery again a second time with ship. Woo! Hold on a minute. Now, brother man, how do we get to America? How do we go to, into slavery? What was our way of transportation coming over here into slavery? Ships. That's right. That's what the Bible just said. Bring it out. It's proven we're the children of Israel. This is our history. You understand? Yes, right. Now, give me Deuteronomy 20 and 15. Now, give me that. Now, remember what we said. Uh-oh, he's pointing to something. You got to point to that thing. Point to that thing. The cigarette? What? Oh, 1 Corinthians 3, 16. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, brother. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come. 1 Corinthians 3.16 The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 Know ye that, that ye are the temple of God So black man, you are the temple of God That's right You are the temple of God Read And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you So you heard, what it, you heard what it said? The spirit of God 
should be dwelling in you. Listen close. If any man defiled the temple of God. Wait a minute. Are you about to defile your temple with the sin he just gave you? Bring it up. Are you about to defile your temple? It says if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God be so. So cancer's waiting for you. That's, That's right. That's all I got to tell you. Throat cancer's waiting for you. That's right. Lung yeah. cancer's waiting for you. You got to repent, brothers. That's right. See that? That's why we remain in slavery. That's right. That's why we remain at the bottom of society right there. There you go right. right there. We show the black man he could be ruling this earth. He said, oh, no, I'll, I'll take the cigarettes over that. Right. Hell no, I got to fulfill my lust. Give me Isaiah 31. I got to fulfill my lust. I need a cigarette. I need that thing right there. I got to smoke up my lungs. You understand? But death is knocking at your door. That's right. Death is knocking at your door. Then give me uh, Zechariah 7. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. So God said, destruction to the rebellious children. Who's the rebellious children? The children of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.